This is Jason in Las Vegas, Nevada on December 4th, 2009. It's about 9.30 at night. Temperature outside is about 34 degrees with 20% humidity. I have my 20 foot round above ground pool which holds about 9,000 gallons of water. I'm currently running my Rude heat pump which is a 115,000 BTU model. This is a heat and cool model so that it can actually run down to low temperatures outside because it has a power defrost built into it. Whereas most heat pumps can only run down to around 50 or 55 before they shut off, this model is designed to go down into the mid to low 30s, which it currently is working very well at this temperature. I want to show somebody something a little different in this video. This is pretty neat. I took the cover halfway off my pool right now. The pool's up to 83 degrees. It's currently 34 outside. You can should show up pretty good. You can see the steam coming off of the pool. This is a good example of what your pool does when you're not covering it at night and you're heating it and how much heat is wasted and how difficult it can be to keep the pool warm when it's this cold. Look over here to the solar blanket which is on half the pool and you're losing no heat. Nothing at all is, fall is coming off the pool, you know, very little. Over here you're losing heat like crazy and this is a good example of that. So normally I have my pool covered at night and then when I want to enjoy it of course I just uncover it and go swimming and then cover it back up. So I want to come over here and show everybody how well this heat pump is working. I set up some external temperature thermometers to measure the, the water temperature and the air temperature on this heater. And I have some boards over here just as a temporary setup to cover up my camera and thermometers and stuff that I have outside here. What I want to show everybody is I have a temperature sensor mounted on the side right here which measures the air temperature going directly into the heat pump. So this is the real air temperature outside getting drawn in, measured by this little sensor. And then up on top, I have another sensor mounted on the top of the fan. So this is measuring the temperature coming out of the top of the heater, which is your exhaust air temperature. It's very important with a heat pump to see the difference in the outside air getting drawn in and the temperature coming out the top. That difference in temperature, your delta T as it's called, shows you how well the heat pump is working and how much heat it's actually taking out of the air. Here was another good shot of the steam, maybe. There you go. Now, I'm going to come over here and show everybody the temperatures on the thermometer. And this is what's actually going on. This is a digital display model of our root heat pump. So it's showing the water is currently at 83.3. It's going in. My temperature sensor is reading 83.1 with 86.5 water coming out. So that means the heater is adding 3.3 four degrees of heat instantly to my water flow and I'm currently running about 40 gallons a minute of water through my water system and my one horsepower uh, a pump for my above ground pool. But the nice, the neat thing here to notice is look at the air temperature going into this heat pump. 34.2 air coming out at 28.2. So it's taking six degrees of heat out of the air, shooting it out the top of the heater and putting 3.4 degrees into the water, keeping my pool at 83 degrees and actually rising it right now. It'll get warmer. It'll be 84, 85, 86 as we go through the evening. It's currently about 930. This unit is working fantastic and uh, it is also a very unique feature with this model of the root heat pump line is you're actually AHRI certified. That's an important laboratory certification to prove that this heat pump is very efficient and rated for um, high efficiency environments as such as installed in California, Florida, Texas, anywhere in the country, but for any place that's very specific and has regulations on how much power consumption a heat pump can use, these units all qualify in all areas for this, which is fantastic. All of my customers with these models are very happy, and it's a quiet unit too. It was working great. I haven't had any problems with it, and it started working, uh, turned it on yesterday morning. The pool was 59 degrees. I had not been heating it for a while, so I ran it all day yesterday. Then I turned it off overnight, and I started it up this morning at 8 o'clock and left the blanket on the pool. And so my pool went from 59 yesterday morning all the way up to 83 right now. And we only had a 52 degree high temperature here in Las Vegas. Now it was full sun, but only 52 degrees outside. Very cold. Last night's low temperature was about 33 or 34. And tonight it's already 34, uh, which is incredible for this early in the evening. I'm going to try to take another video later to see how cold this gets. Uh, before the unit finally shuts itself off uh, possibly some point in the maybe in the 20s or low 30s. I'm not sure how cold we're going to get tonight. One important thing is, is we only have 20% humidity and as you have really low humidity with these units 
they still work very well as you can tell but you don't get the ice building up on the side of the heater and the evaporator coil this will actually turn solid white with ice for a short period of time if you had a lot of humidity and it was this cold outside but then this specific model goes into a power defrost and defrosts all that ice off and then the heater kicks back on and continues to run to heat your pool very very good system it works fantastic out here even the few times I get a lot of humidity it works great all the way down into the low 30s whereas most all heat pump brands unless you have this extra feature that Rude carries your heat pump will shut off in the in the usually 50 to 55 degree range and not be able to continue to heat your pool on these cold nights so as you can see if you want to have a nice warm swimming pool throughout the winter time in Las Vegas you can do it with a heat pump very efficiently instead of burning gas or propane like everybody thinks you have to do and you can go swimming in your nice warm hot pool and uh, have a very low electric bill this unit would cost you on a pool my size maybe about three dollars to four dollars a day this time of year to keep it really warm and hot and that's a very affordable price people with gas spend 15 20 25 dollars a day sometimes to do this out here and they don't realize how well a heat pump would work so we're trying to educate everybody and show them that this product is is great it works fine out here at my house and uh, everybody should be buying these for their pools and getting rid of gas it's much better on the environment and much better on your electric bill thank you for watching our video if you guys have any questions please contact us at poolheatpumps.com my name is jason and thank you for watching our video have a great day